What's going on people, welcome to One Tree Seven Works, and today I just wanted to do like a follow up video, a long time after the fact, I admit, but for some reason over the last couple of weeks and months, the video about how to get how to eliminate lag and stutteriness on your Quest 2 using the like just a, a generic Oculus Link cable not the official one it's just been blowing up it's gone from like a couple of like a handful of thousand views since I uploaded it to nine days ago it had just over 20,000 views and within nine days it's already now over 25,000 it's just I don't know if there's a lot of like a sudden upsurge in people buying Oculus Quest 2s but yeah it's just really popping off and I'm getting a lot of questions and have been getting a lot of questions so yeah I just basically thought I would address some things and then address a big issue with the video but I'll get to it in a second but that's basically what, what you're gonna watch if it's not interesting to you obviously feel free to click away but um yeah i do recommend checking this out if you watch that video and have some questions so the biggest one is that that video is made about a very specific problem it's made to solve the problem of choppiness and stutteriness in the headset when using a cable that's not up to par essentially or that's not a recommended using the recommended specs that oculus recommends which, yeah so usb 3.0 uh, and certain like there's like i think they have some other specs as well that they recommend or obviously they just want you to buy their own specific cable but yeah, I was just basically, the problem that I was having was that I'd bought a cheap, like, 25 euro cable from a, gen a generic retailer here in Ireland, and I was getting a load of choppiness and sturdiness. That's the problem that I'm addressing in that video. A lot of people are coming in and saying, oh yeah, well it could be to do with your OS, and it could be to do with this setting, and that setting, and this thing, and that thing, and why aren't you using USB 3.0? It doesn't work if you don't use 3.0, like, I, I didn't even watch the video any further after you mentioned that you were using 2.0, etc, etc, etc. In a video where I explained using 3.0, or 2.0 works absolutely fine once you apply this fix. I had people telling me that USB 2.0 doesn't work and that you, I'm silly for not using 3.0. But anyway, yeah, so that's that's the biggest thing that I had that I took away from that video was that or from the comments in that video is that a lot of people were asking me, do I like what like what about this? What about that? Like what about uh, I've got a cable that is the number is blah blah blah, but it's still choppy. Like the number is perfectly high, but it's 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 really choppy still. I can't help with that. So that's that's a thing that um that's the biggest message that I want to get across is that unfortunately I don't have experience with a lot of the problems that people were leaving comments saying that they were experiencing like that that they that that was not my experience my experience was very simply i used a cheap third party cable and i was getting choppiness and I happened to find out that it basically the crux of the video, and also I'm really disappointed that I never mentioned this in the video. The crux of the problem was that I was simply trying to put through too much bandwidth, more so than the actual cable could handle. Being a cable that can only handle, in the best case scenario, in the proper USB 2.0 port, I think it was 350 megabytes or 357 megabytes or something like that, or me megabits, MBPS. That was basically what the issue. I was trying to force through more data than the cable could handle, and it was resulting in choppiness. It's the same way if you were to use Oculus Airlink, and you don't have a strong Wi-Fi signal, or you're not near the router, or you're trying to process more MBPS, I guess, like over the over your Wi-Fi signal than your Wi-Fi can handle, or, you know, kind of way, like, it's, it's that, that was, that's essentially what's the problem. That I was trying to fix. If you have a cable that's shown you, say, uh, like 3.5 gigabytes a day that'll process now. Like if you've got like the official Oculus Link cable or like a really high end cable that's shown like 3.5 gigs or something like that, like, and you're still experiencing issues, that is not going to be the cable, in my opinion. There's something else along the way in the pipeline of um, of issues that it could be. It's not going to be the cable, I don't think. It's, it, or, or my video is not definitely not going to help in that case. It's for a very specific issue, as I said, using a cheaper third-party cable and wondering why you're getting stuttering in the headset. Another thing, a lot of questions or a lot of comments were asking. I've got a cable, as I said, that is the official link cable or is 3.5 gigs. It's shown in uh, the test cable thing. I think. The software maxes out at 500 megabits per second so that to, to answer all them questions because i had all these different numbers on what settings people again not to be disrespectful but a lot of people not willing to do the work and find out what like what was what worked for them just kind of hoping for somebody to reply, reply to them and say oh what give me the magic number that fits the thing the whole point of the video is that not one magic number really does fit because again video or the article whatever it was that i referenced specifically said 350 megabytes should or again i keep saying megabytes i think it's mb and megabits mbps that video or that article was referencing my graphics card but it wasn't referencing my specific cable so the whole point of the video was your specific cable that you bought whether it was a third party one on amazon or like me from a local retailer every cable and even down to the usb ports i was tried i tried all four of my front usb ports and in one of my USB, uh, USB ports is a, what you call them, like a USB 3.0 hub thing with like four more ports or five more ports on it or something like that. I tried in every one of those and, and troubleshoot, troubleshooted, troubleshot, every single one to try and find the one that provided the best performance. Like that was, that's the kind of work that you need to do here. I don't have a, a specific answer. I can't answer that, You give you the magic number essentially. But for what it's worth, if you have the 
Oculus official link cable and if you have or if you have like a USB 3.0 like high quality cable I believe that, again the, the, the Oculus Diagnostics tool software maxes out at 500 megabits I think if you try to enter in anything higher than that it just doesn't let you it caps at 500 megabits so to answer that question generally 500 megabits 500 mbps uh, it should be your number again depending on different factors the resolution that you want to run frame rates the encode bit rate I think it's called all these different things can result in a different number for you, but by and large, yeah, it caps out of 500. So that's why I use the example, although I made a mistake and had to correct it in editing, where I was like, just say your cable maxes out at 400. Start at 400 and go down from there. No one obviously that the, the, the thing starts at 500. If you've got one of them high-end cables, start at 500, Go down to 480, go down to 460, go down to 440, 430, and so on and so forth. I think that's it. I didn't want it to be going on too long. Hopefully it should be about five minutes by the time that I edit it. Edit it. Never say that. But yeah, just a couple of things that I wanted to address. Oh, before I finish up, I just want to reiterate. Yeah, so again, I was reading through some of the comments there just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. If you're doing, if you're paying attention and following the steps in that video and you're still getting choppiness, as I said earlier, just to touch on it again, just to be very clear, that is not going to be your issue then. The issue isn't going to be your cable. It's not going to be bitrate that you're using, obviously, because if you're, if you're trying these things and it's still not working and i only say this based on the fact that it worked for me and by but by, by and large the vast majority like 95 percent of the comments on the video which i've gotten a lot of uh, which i have to say and i'll thank people at the end the vast majority of the comments were people saying that it worked for them it fixed them they thanked me so much and were so appreciative but yeah so that it does clearly seem to be the fix for for the issue that people were having in, in that specific instance again of choppiness in the headset when using a third party cable if you're using third party cable you're getting choppiness even after applying this fix or trying to trying to do that test if you're again it's one of the things with people and i've done it myself you're probably skipping a step you're probably not doing something right exactly as i explained it maybe not restarting the oculus service and having to actually apply something along those lines but if you are and if you know that you are and you've definitely been sticking through that like you stuck to the whole like kind of step by step process and it's still happening it's not going to be the issue uh, that i was trying to address it's going to be something like your graphics card is on the fritz or your headset's a bit funny or something like that again i don't want to freak anybody out and get people worried or like it could just be your power mode on your usb slot slot that you're that you're plugged into is set to battery life or something like that rather than performance like, there's all these weird kind of little in between things but again that's not an issue that i can help with. i've had people asking me about could i help with audio choppiness stuff like that like again unfortunately not because i'm not experiencing uh, th those issues I, I couldn't honestly say but yeah that's it i just wanted to make sure that i touch on everything because i don't want to have to make another video <laughs> at any point in the future i just want to get those things across uh, very uh, as clear as possible and then just finally yeah as i said blowing up twenty five thousand views which is outrageous for me like my average view count is anywhere from 50 to 100 maybe a big video will pop off and a couple of hundred so yeah appreciate everybody checking it out and, and mostly just finding it useful again i always say it's why i love i love making creative content like the car mod view videos and all that kind of stuff but helpful videos like how to's uh, again two of my biggest videos are like for a combined like half a million views each or all together are how to videos like how to find a futo back in 2013 and gta 5 when it first came out and how to get started in a of course of drifting and yeah there's just i love that i get that a lot of satisfaction out of saving people time and effort and the headache that, you, that it can be to, to to solve an issue when you're having it if i can find it if i can play a part in getting that sorted for you in one click in one video again i provide the timestamp i try to, i want to try to get there as quick as possible and people seem to really appreciate it so uh all the nice comments again on top of the views that's one thing but all the comments again very few not very often i get comments on videos particularly not such nice ones like people tell me that i'm a really nice guy straight to the point i was super helpful i say it like i say i helped one guy incredibly one of the more recent comments that i got with a job that he was concerned about not getting done by the deadline but my fix happened to help him there so again just amazing unbelievable so just want to thank everyone uh, for the for the brilliant response to that video i was delighted to be able to help and yes i will just wrap it up there because i think i've gotten everything out yeah if you enjoyed it please leave a thumbs up subscribe if you're new here thanks for watching and goodbye